this is my unit four project called Flowers and Frufri, where I was commissioned by Zara to produce a summer dress with the Molly Goddard team. So this is my mind map. Um, this is my mood board, so it has all the colours that I was going to use and different inspirations. Um, here is my visit to Great Dexter Gardens, which relates to the flower scheme. Here is all the flowers that I collected um, and made a mood board out of it. Um, here are some primary research drawings which I made when I went to Great Dexter. These are blind drawings and these are just normal ones. And then here are just some in black and white and just more um, blunt colours. Um, here is um, secondary research on Frida Kahlo and her importance of flowers and the flower crown. Um, here it, I made my own headband design and then I actually um, did some scrunching techniques and used different fabrics to create um, a headband. Um, here I uh, researched the meaning of frou-frou and um, different definitions of it and different styles. Um, here I designed some swing tops where I could add um, frill placements. Here is some more designs. And this is the design that I went forward with, as you can see here. Um, here is a sample of my frill and the evaluation. And then here are some experiments on the stand of where I can place frills. Um, I also did secondary research on Molly Goddard and her background and her importance in the fashion industry. And then here are some two collections um, and the research in collaboration with UGG. Um, here is the process of my swing top. So I've made it step by step, creating a pattern and then adding the frills. Um, here is my swing top designs put into a dress and see how I can develop the designs. And then here is some primary research on roses and some drawings and um, real life photos. Here I made a ribbon rose and here is the process. Here is a queen rose um, which is a bit different to the ribbon rose um, and then some fabrics here placed on top of the rose. And then to relate to that, I did an Alba Ferretti research, which um, she put um, roses in her designs and how she placed them. And then here I extended the technique by adding ribbon roses and embroidery. And here's my evaluation. And then here is me adding the ribbon rose pattern onto dresses and using watercolor indications of how a dress to look. Um, here is a technique called dispersed dyes, where I used um, dyes and printed it off onto different pieces of fabric and here is the experiment. And then to relate to that, I did a research on all Achillean, her importance of the textiles and her famous patterns. Um, here is another technique which I used um, called organs flowers um, and here are some more drawings of different flowers. To relate to that, I did research on Alexander McQueen Spring 2018 collection and how he added roses to his designs, um, as well as also being related to the Great Dixter Gardens. And then here are some drawings which um, relate to that research. Um, here's an extension of the organza flowers, except this time I used netting and I did specks of highlights um, and in my own colours. Here is a sequin flower, um, and this is the process. And then these are the final designs that I've created. I decided to go forward with this one. Um, and here are some roses on this design. And then here is um, another secondary research on how Chanel use flowers to put on, on um, their designs and their dresses and skirts. And then here is a comparison to a different um, Chanel collection where they did small flowers. And then here's my own uh, my own research, um, which is flower embroidery. And I picked my own flowers and placed them um, on a piece of fabric and traced around it. 
and then here is my final evaluation.